Hey guys, so I'm back with another Epic 7 video. So today we're going to quickly go over the update content. So we have the notice updates and there's nothing too crazy in here. So we have the balance patch notes that we've all seen before. So I'm not going to go over that. We have a new chapter in episode 3. The standard stuff, you know, we'll be able to get more sky stones, etc. There's also a piece of equipment, a crit damage necklace, and the stats aren't bad at all. We have crit chance, attack, health. You know, effectiveness is kind of whatever, but if you get a lot of crit chance on this thing, it could be very, very good. The big thing this week is Strays is finally out, so we'll be able to summon for him. I can't wait. I have 90 summons right now saved to try to get him. So, you know, I hope you guys all get lucky in summoning for him. He looks really, really great. Like, he looks really cool aesthetically, and his kit is kind of ridiculous. The good thing is that we have this here. So, he can be imprinted so they are giving him his own imprint item just like our team and shadow got so you can either imprint him using unknown slates or reflections of dead gods these are going to be available in the transmit shop you need to use 10 golden transmits per item so you'll need 50 in order to get enough of these to max him out and i really do suggest that you use this item to imprint him and not the unknown slates just because you could save the unknown slates for other limited heroes like cerise and landy those kinds of units that do not have another unit you could imprint them with because it's very hard to get duplicates of those types of limited units when this is available for strays you really should just save up your gold transmits to get these instead of using your unknown slates for him so, Lydica, you know, drop rate up. You know, she's been rerun a lot, so it's not that big of a deal. Sword of Judgment's okay, but I don't think it's worth necessarily summoning for. The World Arena season is also ending, so... It's going to be ending and entering the preseason. So, this is your last opportunity to get as high up in World Arena that you want to do. And to get your Ruel skin, conquest points, whatever you're going for in this season, this is your last chance to do it. Of course, the Ruel skin, they already showed this in the prior weeks. So I'm not going to go over that. Um, this one is interesting. They added a Hall of Fame for the World Championship to the World Arena, so you'll be able to see who won each year. And they have the interview of the winner, which is kind of cool. So. so they're adding a new rank between Legend and Champion. People have been asking for this for a while because there's such a discrepancy between all the people in Champion, between Low Champion and High Champion, like the people toggling between Champion and Legend. There's a huge difference. So they added this in between, which is really good, because now you have a difference between high champion and low champion. So they're changing the beginning and ending of RTA seasons. So they're changing it from the middle of the week, which was kind of rough for people, to the end of the week, which is really good. Because a lot of people had trouble doing the end of the season because it's a work day, and they couldn't just sit there all day long doing it. So this change is really good. It makes more sense. They're also improving the matchmaking so that there's less of a discrepancy between the players where the, the battle is just one-sided. The person's just way over-leveled and way overpowered for you. So the matchmaking system is going to match people based on similar capabilities. So this is very good. It'll make RT more enjoyable for a lot of people who are newer. So Frenzy's also been changed. They basically have the effectiveness that gets increased in Battle Frenzy. As you can see, at Frenzy 9, it used to be 200, now it's just 100. So, this will make things a little more interesting in RTA. And make it a little more fair when it comes to certain units that require effectiveness. And you just didn't have to build for it at all. Because you could just 
You could just count on the frenzy carrying you. So Alchemy Steeple is also being updated. They're adding a conversion for modification gems. This is going to allow you to select the type of equipment that you want the modification stone for and the substat. So your Alchemy Steeple building has to be level 3 in order to do this. And it will require modification cores to be able to do the modification gems. So you'll have to break down modification stones that you do not want. As you can see here, that's what they're showing right here. They're getting rid of some that they do not want and converting them into the cores. As you can see, and then they are limiting the conversion to twice per month for each set. So they are limiting how many times you're able to do this. You'll probably want to save this for when you absolutely need it. As you can see here, they're showing you you get to pick the piece of equipment that you want to do. So they did an attack set and then the substat speed. So you get to choose both. You'll always want to make the quality grade be in this epic. You want the full bar filled here so that you get the guaranteed. They're also adding Flitica's skin to the shop now. So you'll be able to purchase that. There's a bunch of changes that they made with issues. I'll let you read through this if you want to see. There's certain graphical issues and character skills that weren't functioning properly, etc. that were fixed. I'll let you read through this. There were two things that were interesting. They allow you to see the skills now. When you're in battle in PvP, you can click on the skills of the units and see what the skill does, which you couldn't do before. This will help you in PvP battles. If you're not familiar with a certain unit, what they do, you'll be able to see what they do in order to make your decisions in PvP. They also made this improvement to the UI where each of the different levels of equipment have a different color. UI, I really like this actually. It's such a simple change, but I, I actually really like this UI change. It looks really good. So in the live stream, they also mentioned the Spirit Altar is being reorganized. There's not too much information about this yet, other than the removing the 10 stage format and just doing easy, normal, hard hell. The reputation rewards for this will be reset and they're putting new ones. We're not sure about the rune drops. They said nothing about that as well in the live stream, so we'll have to wait and see how drops for runes is affected by this. Hopefully it makes it better when you do hell that you actually get the large runes. Hopefully. So this update's going to take place on the 22nd of July. And then the last thing I want to go over is we have a Stray's Celebration 7 Day Check-In event. This event's taking place between July 8th and the 29th. And for seven days, you get 100 mystics over seven days, which is 1,400 mystics. So 14 pulls towards strays. This is amazing. If you're close to pity, this could help you. Even if you're really far away from pity, this is giving you a chance to get him and gets you one step closer to pity. So this is amazing. 14 pulls is actually a lot of pulls for mystics. I know the pity is 200, but 14 pulls is actually a lot of pulls. It's actually pretty tough to get that many pulls. So this is going to be really helpful, and you get stamina as well. This check-in event is really amazing. So I hope you guys have luck pulling for strays. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.